Okay, so in this video, I'm going to introduce you to a new type of uh, argument form, and it's a type of inductive argument. And so here we go. It's called inference to the best explanation. So I'll just write that here. Inference to the best explanation. Also called IBE for short, IBE, inference to the best explanation, also called abduction. Okay, or abductive reasoning, which is really just using our terminology, a type of inductive reasoning, which if inductively forceful, is if the premises are true, then given no other information about the topic, the conclusion is probably true. Okay, so normally I teach the uh, give an example of an argument and then an ordinary English, and then after that I give you the form using the uh, variables like x and p's and q's. And this one I'm going to flip it. I'm going to start with the argument form, and then uh, after that I'll give you an example. Okay, so uh, premise one will always be a set of observations. And this form is basically, uh, it's in the um, reading, so uh, you can see it there as well. Um, so you start with your observations, and that'll be D1, D2, D3, dot, dot, dot. Okay, it's getting kind of bright, sorry about that. Okay. Um, they're very sunny right now. Okay, so premise one will be your observations. Premise two, and again, if if this if you're not really following what I'm doing right now, that well, we'll give an example soon. But uh, yeah, it'll make more sense I think after the next video. So premise two will be your explanation of the observations, and that premise will always be said stated something like this. Hypothesis H combined with previously accepted uh, facts is a good explanation of observations D1, D2, D3, dot, dot, dot. All right. So hypothesis H combined with previously accepted facts is a good explanation of observations D1, D2, D3, and so on. Again, yeah, if it's not making sense, that's okay. Right now, just get this into your notes, and you can understand it better after I give the example. Premise three is the comparison premise. It goes like this. No other hypothesis is nearly as good an explanation as hypothesis H. And you conclude Probably H is true. Okay, Let's start with your observations. You give a hypothesis which is supposed to explain or be a good explanation of the observations. Premise three asserts that no other hypothesis nearly as good an explanation as H. 
and you conclude, therefore probably h is true. Okay, so uh, we'll look at an example of that in the next video. For this, just get this in your notes and be introduced to it. All right, see you in the next video.